Hi, I'm Daniel Foley from the Renner Life Training Center, and welcome to our daily communion meditation. Where today we're taking a look at a passage of scripture in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 8. It says, sowing to please the Spirit. So just the other day, it seemed like this passage of scripture just kept popping up in multiple places throughout the day. And something I've learned is that when a scripture keeps showing up in multiple places, it's often God trying to show us something. And so we're going to take communion over this passage of scripture today. Asking God to give us wisdom and insight and revelation into it. But let's take a look at the scripture. Ephesians chapter, or not Ephesians, Galatians chapter 6, verse 8. It says, whoever sows to please their flesh, from the flesh will reap destruction. Now notice, where is it? Where do we reap from? We reap from the flesh. But whoever sows to please the spirit, from the spirit will reap eternal life. And I'd have to double check. I need to look it up. But I believe that word for eternal life is probably more than likely the word zoe, the zoe life, which is the life of God, the life force, the essence, the energy of God. That's the kind of life we're going to reap. And so let's pray first, then we're going to take communion over this. Heavenly Father, I pray for everybody who's watching or listening, their families, their friends, everybody connected to them, and all of our church and governmental leaders. And I thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light, into the kingdom of your dear son. I thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in Christ Jesus before time ever began. And that Jesus was struck down, he was smitten, he was bruised and pierced and crushed and destroyed. Also that you could be on our side, that you could be fighting for us. And I keep asking that you, the father of glory, would give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that we would know you more and more, that the eyes of our hearts would be enlightened to know the hope to which you've called us and the riches of your glorious inheritance that is in us and the immeasurable greatness of your power to us who believe, the same power that you exercised in Christ when you raised him from the dead and you seated him at your right hand in heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion in every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And you put all things under his feet and made him to be the head of the body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. And Father, I ask you to bless us and to make your face shine upon us. Let us find grace and favor in your eyes. Expand our borders and our territory. Expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ and to let it flow through us so that we do good and are blessing to people all over the world. Send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing today and help us make the most of those opportunities. Keep your hand on us and help us do today what's right and best in your eyes and do it with peace and joy and confidence in you. And we ask you to stretch out your hand to heal and do signs and wonders and keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And Father, we're asking for your insight today. Give us wisdom and insight and understanding into this verse today. Teach us what you want us to see in this verse. Help us to sow to please the Spirit, so that from the Spirit we will reap eternal life. And we thank you that the night Jesus was betrayed. He took the bread and said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. You laid upon Jesus the punishment that we deserved, and by his stripes we've been healed. He was crushed and destroyed by you, smitten by you, so that we could be right and holy and perfect in your sight, all through his one sacrifice. And you raised him up from the dead, and you seated him at your right hand in heavenly places. And you raised us up together with him and made us sit together with him. And we get this opportunity today to remember, to remember our union with you through the sacrifice of Jesus. Let's just go ahead and take our bread. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. He said, this is the cup of the new covenant. 
in my blood poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. And it's the forgiveness of sins that released us from darkness and transferred us into the light. We get to have this covenant relationship with you, Father. And so I thank you for this cup and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our juice. So normally after time of communion, we talk about some health and fitness tips. Because I think physical exercise is meant to teach us how to exercise our faith. And so just a little reminder, the two cues that we often use in our workouts. Bring your best and make it beautiful. Bring your best and make it beautiful. Those two cues can help us to bring a much greater level of presence and connection with God into our workouts so that we sow to please the Spirit. But I hope this has been helpful for you today. If you'd like to be a part of what we're doing in the Abundant Life Blueprint, you can go to the AbundantLifeTrainingCenter.com.